What actually fascinates me a lot is the brain. So uh, what I do my, in my life is actually split into two. I actually manage uh, the research and development uh, department of a company. I built it up from scratch. And uh, it's a company that deals a lot with uh, sleeping, uh, sleeping uh, products. Uh, we actually developed our own, uh, our own technology. And uh, the company is called Sense of Nature. And that's actually uh, a Danish company based in Malta. And we managed, I mean, I moved back to Malta in order to start the research and development department. And apart from the work I do at Sense of Nature, I also have uh, this company, AAT Research. And uh, what we do here is also quite unique in its own sense. Because uh, what we do is uh, we do something called neuromarketing. Uh, we have a number of clients and uh, what we do, we get people here we get actually clients uh, that want to promote a new service, a new uh, product and instead of going the normal consumer behavior route we actually uh, do something a bit more different and a bit more innovative we actually wire up a group of people uh, we record their brain waves, we record their heartbeats, we record their galvanic skin response and uh, we record also their eye tracking so how their the people actually their eyes behave because that actually tells us a lot of information and uh, we actually uh, come up with actually these uh, these answers i mean whether the product is successful whether the product triggers some certain emotions whether the product is found to be very boring by the people and we get back to our clients and uh, give them this information. Now, this is much more uh, an article in Nature and Neuroscience described this method as being 300% more effective than normal surveys because this doesn't leave uh, space for error, space for lies, and space for other type of errors that are actually encountered when people are filling up surveys and stuff like that. Uh, that is what we do here. Apart from that, we also we are also commissioned by a foreign company to develop a software related to brain analysis. In order to be in the brain sciences world, I mean, a person would need, uh, first of all, to have a lot of motivation and persistence. And apart from that, I mean, people can come from a number of different fields. I mean, you get the people that actually studied more come from the psychology aspect. And you got the people that come more from the electrical engineering and the neurophysiology background. I think my uh, background is uh, quite diverse because I actually went up to, to the UK to study for a degree in audio engineering, a BSc in audio engineering. And uh, then I ended up studying uh, for a master's in audiological sciences and another master's in EEG technology and then ended up reading for a PhD in neurosciences. Another article on Forbes um, quoted the area of neurosciences as the most growing area currently in the world. So I expect that from now to 10 years time, the situation is going to change a lot. And being here, I mean, from this time is also quite exciting. So I do recommend that more people get interested in neurosciences because it's one of those areas that cannot be pigeonholed as a single area, but it's something very, very diverse and that gathers together a number of disciplines. So it doesn't matter if a person is very interested in the computing side of it and the psychology aspect of it or the medical aspect of it. There is space for everyone to collaborate together. I mean, what I do here, I employ with me, I mean, uh, people coming from the engineering background, people coming from design aspect. That's something, it's a very, very nice environment to work in. It's very, very different than uh, other companies or other different areas. And because actually it integrates everyone. I mean, unfortunately, in Malta yet, we're not very much used to have these kind of cross disciplines merging together. We're more used to have the traditional route for a fixed job, like studying accounts to become an accountant. But few people actually see the link of an engineer 
going into studying the brain. Unfortunately, because in reality, the brain actually works like a machine. I mean, and uh, by actually not realizing that, I think at times some people can be very insular in pigeonholing a career. And so actually, I think it's a very exciting time, I mean, for, to actually be in this particular area. However, it's quite rewarding, but it also takes a lot of sacrifices because at the very start, it's not that you're going to get on a very high scale, but it actually gets quite rewarding also financially in the due course.